So Microsoft says this computer is obsolete. It's a perfectly capable computer with a fast processor and plenty of RAM. However, according to Microsoft's official PC health check tool, it doesn't qualify for Windows 11. But what if I told you they're wrong? What if in just a few short minutes, we could get this unsupported computer running the latest version of Windows 11 without losing a single file or application? Well, stick with me because in this video, I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step process to do exactly that. Let's get started. So our first step needs to be to verify whether or not this unsupported computer can actually take Windows 11. So first we're gonna confirm that we're running the latest version of Windows 10 by typing update in the lower left search bar. You can see that my computer is running the latest Windows 10 build, but still doesn't meet the requirements for Windows 11. In the Windows 10 search bar in the lower corner, type PC Health Check. Now, if you don't have the Microsoft PC Health Check tool installed, you can install it by going to the link that I posted in the description and then follow the prompts to download and install the application. Once you have the app up and running, important details about your computer are shown. Click on the Check Now button and a dialog box will appear stating that this computer does or does not currently meet the Windows 11 requirements. As you can see, my issues are the TPM 2.0 chip and enabling Secure Boot, also known as UEFI. Everything else is totally supported. Next, we're gonna to need to verify if our computer requires a TPM 2.0 chip, and if not, we're gonna to have to source one out and purchase one online. So to check if your system has the embedded TPM, we're gonna go down to the search bar and type in tpm.msc and press enter. This will open a window showing if a compatible TPM is found. If it is, you may only need to enable it in your system BIOS. And you can see here that I do not have one on this computer. So we're gonna to need to purchase a compatible TPM module. So first we need to identify the motherboard and make sure to consult your manual or the PC man manufacturer's website or the correct model. Next, we need to find that compatible TPM. Mine was pretty easy to find on Amazon after I checked my manual. A quick search for TPM20 Asus B450 gave me immediate results. I also placed some links in the description for various models so that can help get you started. Once you receive your TPM 2.0 chip, you're ready to grab your toolkit and start the install. So now for the fun part, installing the TPM chip. We need to power down the PC and open up the case. Make sure you unplug it before doing so. And we're gonna to need to consult our motherboard manual to find the TPM header on the motherboard and make sure that it's in the right location. And by the way, if you're looking for an excellent toolkit, I love the iFixit. This contains everything I need for doing computer work as well as iPhone repairs. So if you're interested, there's a link in the description that you can click on and I'd appreciate your support. So once we consulted the motherboard manual and located the header pins on the motherboard, we're going to carefully align the TPM chip and install it on the motherboard. Make sure to gently press it into place and make sure the pins are correctly seated. Once that's installed, you can close up the case and reconnect all your power and cable accessories. So now with our TPM 2.0 chip installed, we need to enable it and make sure that UEFI is ready to go. So once we've rebooted into Windows, we'll need to enable Secure Boot. To do this, type Settings, then go to Update and Security, click on Recovery, and Restart Now. Once that does a quick reboot, it's gonna show you a screen that you're gonna choose Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, and UEFI Firmware Settings and then click restart to make the change. Once that's done, we're gonna restart the computer and press the designated key to enter the BIOS. This is usually the delete key F2 or F10. So let's enable the TPM. Find the security and trusted platform setting in your BIOS and ensure the TPM is enabled. Next, locate the secure boot section and make sure Windows UEFI mode is selected. You will also need to locate the CSM or Compatibility Support Module and disable it. 
Once those are done, save your changes and exit the BIOS. Now for the main event, we need to verify everything is good to go and start the Windows 11 installation process. Now we're gonna reboot back into Windows and verify that our computer is eligible for the Windows 11 upgrade. So in the Windows 10 search bar, we're gonna type PC Health Check again. And then once that app is running, we're gonna click the Check Now button. And here we go. This PC now meets the Windows 11 requirements. Our TPM is good to go, and so is Secure Boot. So if everything worked well for you, you should see the same menu. So click the search bar and type in Windows Update. You should now see that your device is ready to download Windows 11 and start the update. Now let's initiate Windows 11 installation. Click the Download and Install button. Read through the 40 pages of the End User License Agreement. Click Agree. And now we start the waiting game. This process usually takes about an hour depending on your internet speed and your computer's performance. After the final restart, you'll be greeted by the Windows 11 login screen. Log in like you always do, and if you see the centered start menu, the new icons, and the modern design, you're officially on Windows 11 desktop. Congratulations. So we did it. We saved a perfectly good computer from the landfill and proved once again that you don't have to upgrade to a new computer just because the company says so. So if you found value in this video, do me a favor and hit the like and subscribe buttons. And as always, thanks for watching. Enjoy your new Windows 11 experience, and I'll see you on the next video.